We're going to walk you through four key events involving President Trump, Michael Cohen, and Stormy Daniels, who Cohen paid $130,000 to keep quiet about an alleged sexual encounter with President Trump. And we're going to explain the legal questions that arise from each of those events and how they could impact the presidency. Spoiler alert. They all involve money, where and how Cohen got it, how he spent it. Literally, the money trail. We begin nearly a year before the 2016 presidential election. Just as the campaign was heating up, Cohen expanded his access to cash. Yeah, by nearly three quarters of a million dollars. That included nearly doubling his home equity line of credit. That's important because Cohen later said that he used his home equity line to buy Stormy's silence. That's right. And that brings up our first legal question. What did Cohen say on his application for that loan and others he took out around that same time? If he lied to banks to convince them to loan him money, prosecutors could be looking at bank fraud charges, and that could mean a punishment of up to 30 years in prison. Now, let's fast forward to just weeks before the 2016 election. Around that time, Stormy was trying to sell her story to the press. Cohen caught wind of this, and he agreed to pay Stormy $130,000 not to talk. Again, some legal questions. Did the payment constitute a campaign expenditure or a contribution? Was it intended to help Trump win? Did Trump know about the payment? Did he approve it? Both he and Cohen deny that it was a campaign contribution, but if it was, they could be in violation of campaign finance rules. Remember, the payment came right after this. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the The campaign may have been concerned that Trump's history with women was gonna hurt him at the polls. However, Cohen has said that he would have done this no matter what. This was the kind of problem he always saw for Mr. Trump, election or not. Trump has said he didn't know about it, but he really hasn't been very clear about when he found out. Okay, so we have some loans here, we have the agreement, and now we have the payment itself. Right, this is key. As we reported earlier this year, Cohen set up a company in Delaware called Essential Consultants, LLC. He told the bank that it was a real estate consulting business that would just receive small payments. He almost immediately used it to pay Stormy Daniels. So why does this matter? It matters because Cohen's activities involving Essential Consultants prompted his bank and the bank linked to Stormy Daniels to file suspicious activity reports to the Treasury. Prosecutors are likely looking at whether Cohen made false statements when bank employees asked him about those transactions, and what he said when he opened the account and moved money through it. Again, that could be bank fraud, which would be up to 30 years in prison. Cohen has said that the deal was a private transaction and that it didn't violate any laws. Cohen and his lawyers haven't said anything about what's being investigated. Okay, so there's the loan, there's the agreement, there's the payment, and now there's the reimbursement. In May, the president disclosed that he had repaid Cohen $130,000 for the payment through a monthly retainer. Again, this raises questions. Prosecutors are looking at whether Cohen actually paid the money or whether it ultimately came from Trump in order to help the campaign. Candidates can spend whatever they want on their own campaign, but they have to report it. Trump didn't report the payment, at least not until recently. What would be a really big deal is if prosecutors found evidence that Cohen made the payment to help Trump's campaign and that Trump knew about it, and that they conspired to cover it up. Conspiracy is a federal crime. Okay, let's take a step back. This is just one part of one investigation, among multiple investigations. And there are a lot of other things to look at, like other payments involving essential consultants and Cohen's taxi business. News reports have indicated that Michael Cohen's been telling his friends he could be arrested at any time, so there's probably an update coming soon. And that's why the money trail matters.